video this morning on my fold down extension table for the saw stop. Uh, this saw has sold and it's going to be picked up in a couple days. Uh, but I had a lot of people ask me about the workings of this guy, this fold down uh, extension table. Uh, it's fairly simple in concept and that's what I'm going to give you, just the concept because um, I never did drawings or anything like that. Uh, so let me show you how it works. There's a couple levers there and it goes down. It's very simple. Uh, the hardware is supposed to hold 500 pounds. So plenty of strength there. So let's, come so let's come in closer and I'll go over some of the basic workings of it. So it's this hardware that makes it possible. This is um, Wallmaster 24 inch folding shelf bracket. Uh, I got it at Amazon. I'll put a link uh, in the description uh, to it. Uh, these guys here, that's what I pushed up on, on both sides to fold it down. Uh, these brackets are made to mount on a wall, so I had to kind of create an artificial wall to make them work. Um, let's do this again, and you can see what I'm... So to start with, I had to create kind of an extension of the table itself. I wanted to be able to put my sleds up here and uh, continue that channel where they would uh, go all the way past the blade. Okay, and so uh, I hope you can see here, it's kind of dark under here, um, but this is that extension uh, that has the slots in it for my sled that's permanently amounted to the saw. I'm using the existing L bracket to mount and the existing holes uh, to run screws uh, into this guy here. Uh, this is two by four material that uh, is around the uh, perimeter of the uh, faux wall. Uh, up here, not sure if you can see that, but it's, it's a sort of a L bracket in two by four material. And that's for mounting uh, the uh, wall to uh, what's up, the member up above. So here you can see those series of screws up on top and actually down here that um, underneath here there's got like that L bracket out of two by fours and that's how this guy is mounted to the, um, to the wall, the phony wall. Um, I know I'm going to get uh, comments on what is that. I repurposed this piece of plywood and that happened to be something left over from that repurposing. Okay, the last thing that makes this work is this bracket right here. Uh, I didn't want to run any screws into the uh, cabinet of the saw itself. I didn't want to mar it up. So it's just weight from up here, pushing on here that holds this in place. Uh, and back in here, I don't know if you can see it, uh, between this plate and the cabinet of the saw, um, there's like a little piece of leather. I can't remember now what I put in there, but it was soft material. It was most likely leather that I had left over. Um, and uh, that, that way I don't scratch up the, uh, the saw itself. So this, is, uh, this, this piece here serves to help level things up up above. Uh, the way it works is I move this in and out until I got things above straight in line, flat, just like I wanted it, and then ran screws from down below and locked it in place. So I hope this short video was of uh, help. Uh, I did not give um, minute details, drawings, and all that sort of thing, like I said, uh, but the concept. And um, I think the concept is better than giving the details. For me, woodworking is uh, about working out stuff like this. You know, um, this uh, was mostly made out of whatever I had on hand. If I had different stuff on hand, it may have turned out a little differently. So, see you next time. Mm -hmm.